WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial Trading up 55. NASDAQ is down 134. S&P's off 15 and a half. Gold. Gold contract up $6.70 trading. 2,553 an ounce. We have silver up 16 cents. $30.42 an ounce. Late sweet crude up 260. $77.43 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note down three ticks. 113, 19, 30 year off two ticks at 124.17 in King Dollar. King Dollar's up 132 ticks. Trading out at 108.47. Euro is at 111. Yen is at 1. 44 British pounds at 131 to 1 US dollar. And over the NQs first, let's take a look at what we got here. So the NQs have been messing with 225 down all day long. And what we have here is that you had volume, the first leg down, but the second leg down on the test wasn't even close. So you had 7,700 7, contracts testing 23,000, okay? That being said, there's nothing at the highs here either. So your probability is that you're going to go back down. You don't necessarily get down to the low, though, because the bottom line is that it wasn't a high-volume low. Now, if we take the Qs, that's on the intraday. We take them and the daily. Bottom line, you get the roll happening. That's, that's how this is shaking out. We're, we got below the low that was established out here on Thursday, which is 473, 30, 81. We get the 473.24. Now, it's going to be on lighter volume. That being said, it doesn't look to me like it's going to hold, meaning that the Qs can close at the 473. We go into the E-minis. We take a look at the E-minis intraday first. And what we have intraday inside the E-minis. Right now, you're down 15 and a quarter. And we basically have the same setup. Oh, no, we don't. Look at this. This is interesting. So on the test, yeah, it did. On the test, it had higher volume. Then it tested again. So, yeah, this is, just a, this, this is going to go lower too, man. It doesn't have to go down to the bottom, but this one's lower price. Now, this is intriguing, man, because that, there's some real divergence, man. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. <laughs> 